What's up my fine nobles? Welcome back to my channel. So, oh my gosh, your girl is back. If you guys didn't know, I was in Tahiti for the last two weeks, well, 11 days, and I feel so good being back home. There's no place like home. I did not go for vacation. I feel like some people thought like I only went there for vacation. I really did it. Uh, I've been training with my dance group, Tevaru Ori, for like over a year now. We did our showcase. There was a competition out there. We were just dancing our butts off and training for this and training for the trip. So I did have some free days. <coughs> I ended up getting sick towards the end of the trip. I still have um, a cough left. I feel good though. Yesterday I had all these coughing attacks and yada yada yada, but yeah, now I am back. Uh, my filming schedule is going to be Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, no matter what. No more bonus video Sunday because I never uploaded Sunday. I just said bonus just because I wasn't sure if I could really put out that content. I don't want to promise you something I can't. I have my videos out there like ready and I brought my laptop and the Wi-Fi was completely shot. Like it would go in and out. I could barely communicate with Glenn and I had my videos and there's no way. It would have taken seriously like 1500 hours for it to upload my video. It was just, I, hey, I thought it was going to be a little bit better but it wasn't. So I definitely want to apologize for that and can you guys tell your girl got brown biscuit. I'm finally brown biscuit. If you guys are OG viewer, you guys know I always used to say brown biscuit and now I can finally say I'm brown biscuit. My face does look a little bit lighter than my foundation right now but I'm trying to figure out my shade but see it's because of the lights and stuff so right now it looks balanced but when I'm right here I feel like it looks a little bit lighter than my body. I'm still figuring out my shade. I haven't been a true brown biscuit in a while. But yeah, the trip was so much fun. A lot of experiences, uh, a lot of things I learned about myself and a lot of things I've learned about others. <laughs> I can definitely talk about like my trip and everything that went into it and all of that if you guys want me to. Um, yeah, but let's get into July favorites. These are basically like the things that I loved during this trip because I use the same things every single day. I had a certain amount of time to get ready every single day. I didn't have a lot, a lot, a lot of free time all the time. So yeah, I have a lot of good favorites that I want to talk to you guys about. Don't forget to subscribe so you become... <coughs> I really try not to cough right there. So <laughs> before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe so you become a part of the pineapple tribe because it is free. Na -na -na. Also click that bell so you get notified whenever I upload and like I said every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Ooh, ooh. Let's start with my first favorite and it is this lip color. I absolutely love this. Whenever I wore a bright lip color in Tahiti, it was this one. This one's from Flower Beauty. I did a whole video with them. This is the Miracle Matte Lip. I love this formula. Like whenever I do my collaborations or sponsor videos, I love the product. Did a whole sponsor video on all of their lip colors. I'm obsessed with this formula. It is a whipped formula and it doesn't dry out your lips. Surprisingly, the lighter shades, like the lightest lightest, it honestly looks like I don't know, powdered donuts. Be careful for that one. I forgot what it's called though, but that one can make your lips look chippity chap chap. This one is called Melon Pop and it is so fun. It's like this neon kind of pink coral and it's bright enough where it's like, whoa, like it's really beautiful, but nothing that's like, wow, that is a, like a little bit too much. Pops on everybody. I had another girl try it and she's much fairer in skin tone than me and it looked beautiful on her. I think this is great for all skin tones, especially if you just want to add like a pop. I mean, it is summertime. This is definitely I never say like there's rules on makeup, you know, like wear whatever color you want all year round. But if you're going to wear like a pop of color, I think it's so fun to wear this during summertime. Like I said, never dries out my lips. And this baby stayed like so long. Stayed during like my whole show day. I just had to reapply like super late and I'm talking about 930. So this thing really stays. I love it. Obviously I am brown biscuit, but I did want to protect my skin just because I am all about skincare. And I was using the Shiseido line. Now you don't have to necessarily use the skincare line, but... I found that it didn't make me break out or get rash. I noticed certain sunscreens, I end up breaking out, like my eczema is super sensitive towards it. Uh, I don't know, I just realized that this year. And this is the Shiseido Clear Stick UV Protector uh, 50 Plus. And what I love is that it's wet force. Now this is the main reason why I got it, not just because, oh, it's like a bad and bougie kind of brand, but I got it because it has the wet force on it. So it actually works while you're sweating, while you're in the water. I'm someone where I sweat a lot, and when we were dancing, I was literally drenched. So I wanted something that was gonna hold within my dance practices, and this was so good. You know what's great too is that I put this on my carry-on and it's not a liquid so I was okay on um, bringing this on board with me on the airplane and then this one I just had to check in and what's great is both of these products are for the face and body so I would spray this all over it's not like you have to be careful with um, not spraying this on your face water resistant up to 80 minutes I only got burnt like one of the days which was like the first day I was truly in the sun and that 
that was my fault because I didn't really protect myself as much. I left my spray upstairs and I was down there in the hot like Tahitian sun is like intense and I was downstairs for like about five hours and that's a lot. I'm one where I love to invest in skincare and I highly recommend this stuff just because uh, I was in and out of the water and plus I sweat a lot so that's the reason why I got this so bomb oh and then I picked this up at Ulta next up on the go I loved this deodorant now I'm someone where I don't really smell like a lot but I knew I was gonna sweat way more being out there and dancing and all that in between practices and going back and forth to places now this is the little um, secret antiperspirant it smells so good and it really really helped I smelled so nice and fresh this is my favorite scent whichever one the green one is it's really good the blue one is my favorite second it's my favorite second is my Second favorite, sorry. Perfect just to stick on your, in your, I cannot talk right now, sorry. I was like, I haven't filmed in like a couple weeks, so it feels like just exciting just to be talking to the camera and like you guys are knowing I'm gonna be putting my video up tomorrow. I just feel so pumped and so ready just to like, Oh my gosh, uh, this is perfect to freaking sit, stick in your purse. Sometimes you just like run out the door because you're rushing so much and you're like, shoot, like I freaking forgot my damn deodorant. I have this in my middle console as well, the blue one, it's so good. I mentioned this in another video and someone's like, can't you do like mistaken that for like an EOS like bomb, but it's textured, it's ridged, it says like, it's textured and ridged. Oh my gosh, I sound so nasty right now. I know it's deodorant, so I don't think, you, I don't think you'll get mistaken by this being a bomb. Now obviously being in the sun, I needed something like an after cooling gel because that sun was super intense. And this is summertime, lots of people are going to the beach and having fun in the sun. And this stuff right here, the Coors Cooling Gel for face and body gel consistency right here. And it feels so, oh, it just feels so soothing on the skin. I actually need a little bit on my shoulders because that's where I did get burnt. And I am peeling just a little, not too much. I'm like really proud of myself how I took care of my skin, but you know, I definitely wanted to get brown biscuit as well, but it's just really soothing. It doesn't have like a tack to it. It really soaks into the skin. I've tried like a lot of things like after cooling gels and it has like a sticky texture to it. This one gets into the skin. It's just like a gel moisturizer and it feels good. Just has like a fresh set, nothing too funky. And yeah, it, it's definitely been doing the job. I know this is like another one of those like kind of bougie looking products. Like you can use aloe vera, you can definitely use other products, but I just happened to have this and I used it and it actually really works. And I feel like that's what really helped my skin um, from not peeling so much. This one really saved me. I was holding in that cough. I was like, this one really saved me. Being out there, I obviously wanted to like balance my face and not look like a zombie certain days. And I wanted super light, easy makeup. I don't have like a lot of things to necessarily cover up. I don't really suffer from acne or pimples or anything like that. But this stuff, oh my gosh, this came in like, woo, clutch for me because this is the BB Fresh 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfector. This was fast, on the go, blended so easily. So lightweight. When I was sweating, it didn't get blotchy. Just because because I think it is so lightweight. It says blurs imperfections, enhances, brightens, adjusts to skin tone, soothes, hydrates, helps protect with SPF 30, which is a definite must, 0% oils and other heavy ingredients. I used it almost every single day when this foundation obviously became too light for me. I was like, oh wow, <laughs> this is way too light. And that was like on day five and I was there for a, like another week. I was like, oh wow. So I was really happy I got this one. This one is in the shade medium deep. It says new plus better, not really sure why why but let me show you the shade right here and this is what my current like shade is kind of it's a little bit light right now like I said my face is, is a little bit lighter than my body I'm trying to figure out my shades I just don't want to go too dark all over but I feel like it, it looks balanced I'm currently wearing it right now I've been wearing it all day and right now I'm filming like late at night what time is it it's not too late it's only eight o'clock but you know later because I usually film in the morning but yeah this is what I was using and what I have on right now just blends out really nicely. And I love the, the consistency of it. It's super lightweight, hassle-free. That's see, that's exactly what I wanted. And it just did what I needed. Um, just to balance, super fast, easy, and not to look too cake face, you know, because I'm out there. I don't really have time to do like a ton of glam. So it was amazing. I will say though, when I needed to be super matte and have my face last, I brought the Maybelline 24 hour foundation. Uh, this is in the shade Sun Beige. It honestly was too light for me. Like once I went out there, I was like, oh yeah. 
yeah, this is getting too light. So I just had to bronze my face a lot. And I also added a lot of this one because it is deeper in shade. Uh, but this one upheld all day long. This is a really bomb drugstore foundation. I'm truly impressed by it. I'm really more impressed by drugstore foundations at high end. You would think with all the high end foundations I, I buy and I get to try out that I would have brought one, but I honestly didn't. I got the foundation I bought myself and I love it because it's drugstore, it's affordable, and it really lasts. Like when it says 24 hours, I don't know about all that, but it lasts a really long time because I wore it for probably about, ooh, I want to say like 16, 17 hours. That's a long freaking time and it didn't look bad at all. So if you guys need something that's super long wear and that's really just gonna stay, I highly recommend that one. And there's no SPF in that one, so you're not gonna get any flashback. Now, when I was setting my face, I was using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro in Toffee. I knew I was gonna get more brown biscuit, and that's why I brought a deeper shade. Again, I could have brought a little bit deeper of a shade, but this looked amazing. I currently have it on right now. Like I said, I don't have too much face makeup right now, barely putting concealer, so if I look a little tired, I apologize. But this powder looks so beautiful. I love it. It's super comparable to the Makeup Forever Pro Finish if you love that one. This also reminds me of the MAC Studio Fix which I did bring out there but to be quite honest going to this one just because it didn't look as cakey and when I was setting my face even after sweating I'm gonna be straight up real with you. I was setting my face while I was like still kind of sweaty. It was super humid and my face just looked like whoo kind of like a mess and I would place this and it really just put it back to like a, a level up at least a little bit, you know what I mean? It looked much better, it didn't cake up, it didn't look nasty, and I loved this powder. It's just a beautiful finish. You can wear it on its own or also to set your face. If I had to pick between the two, the MAC or this one, I would actually pick this one. The only eyeliner I used out there was the Superhero Liner from It Cosmetics. It is basically almost dry. I am obsessed with this thing. It is no joke. It lasted all day long whenever I wanted to line my eyes. I did not mess with any gel pot liner. I brought my Wicked um, liner from Sigma and there is no time to take a brush, um, get it all ready and, sorry I had a cough, and just place on my liner with a brush. I don't know, this was so quick and easy and I'm currently wearing it right now and it's been my new obsession. I'm not one to truly love pens, but this one is like my holy grail pen. It is waterproof, it lasts, it's nice and black as you can see. It has a great tip to get that sharp point. This is like, I don't know one other liner that would truly beat this. I actually like this over the Kat Von D Trooper because I think it lasts even longer than that one. I find that Trooper sometimes can kind of get, it can kind of like flake eventually, you know, if you kind of rub your eye or whatever. This does not budge. It's number one. So if you guys have never tried this one, a cosmetic superhero liner, it literally is a superhero liner. When I was out there on my face, I always felt like I was so hot and always sweating and this was the only primer I used. I was thinking, I don't, like, screw the whole, like, fill in my pores or whatever. I am so hot. It is just, I cannot even handle this. So I used the Origins Original Skin Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer with Willow Herb. It does fill in pores, but not as much as, like, the Pore Minimizer from Benefit or the Smashbox um, Pore Minimizer as well. Uh, this one, it just feels so cooling and it just soothes the skin. Like I said, it does like an okay job of filling, but not completely. It's just good for like a smooth canvas, like a basic, not like basic B, like just a regular ca uh, smooth canvas. My skin just feel like, oh, oh, finally like something nice and cool on it just to like, whoo, chill out my skin from like being in the sun. Cause it was like inevitable. Like you're constantly sweating. The sun is just strong. Oh, sorry, I have to. I am just feeling so hot right now. So I brought two different concealers. I brought my Tarte Shape Tape, which I did use some days, but most of the days I use my Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I brought the shade Warm Beige. It ended up being a little bit light. If you guys see my pictures, it's okay. You don't have to comment on it and mention my light under eyes. Uh, I try to make it work by placing like this powder underneath my eyes as well to help balance it when I set it with my Laura Mercier. But this stuff is so good. It's really nice and hydrating. It works with the skin so well. I don't know what it is. What This is number one. If you guys haven't seen my video on this, amazing concealer. I have like my friends using it now and they're like, dude, this is the best. Like they stopped using the shape tape, but they're like low key. I'm still going to use my shape tape. I was like, me too. Cause I love it. It's still good. But this one is much more hydrating to me. This is shape tape, but with moisture. And I, I think that's like the only thing it's really missing. So this is so good. Like go get it. Let me know if you guys have tried it. Do you guys like it? Have you tried it? This one is a hyped up product that is actually something that should be hyped up. It's not something that where you're like, get it and you're like, wow, another product that is just shit. Oh, don't ever go away. To keep my lips in check, I brought my Brazilian Kiss uh, Kupu, uh, 
Kupuaku lip butter, whatever it is from Sol de Janeiro. I love this stuff. It tastes like cocoa butter and it really helped hydrate my lips. My lips are super chippy chap chap out there. Uh, we were lacking a lot of water as well in the first couple days and this stuff really helped. Uh, my lips, I swear they would have cracked and bled if I didn't have this thing on me. Yeah, it would have been super bad, but this one was so good and really moisturizing. I've been using it every day since I came back as well. I also use the Kapari Lip Love. This one has coconut oil in it and it is so good. Like it's a beautiful gloss so I wear this whenever I did have a lipstick on and it's so shiny but just how nourishing it is that's why I loved it but it's a good lip topper as well if you just want like a sexy gloss on top and something that's going to help revive like your lips they did send this to me and they sent other products but this one really is a stand out to me I loved it as for under eyes my favorite one right now is the moisturizing eye balm by belief I've been using this before my makeup at nighttime I decided to use it at nighttime and I actually really like it uh, you get so much product, you barely need any. It is great, like, all day. Like, I love anything that's going to work morning, before makeup, and night. This is it. This is my new favorite one right now I'm currently using. I use this, like, in the video, trying new products, and I still love it. It is so good. My under eye looks really nice. Um, not right now, because I was trying out, like, another concealer, like, a new one, and, it, yeah, I'm not really caring for it. But uh, other than that, it's a freaking bomb eye cream. I am super picky when it comes to my eye creams. Like, if I'm going to use another one, it's going to be the It Cosmetics Confidence in the Eye Cream or this one. Also, I kind of want to, like, backtrack, like, one of my favorites. Before, I was, like, raving about the Cover FX Mattifying Setting Spray, and I do love it, but I will say that it doesn't make my makeup last as much as this one, the All Nighter from Urban Decay. Uh, they did send this to me like in a PR set for the On The Run palette, and I needed a small like travel to go, you know, spray. This All Nighter really made my makeup stay, and I totally saw the difference between this one and this. This is great for mattifying, but this one also kept me matte, and it made my makeup truly last. Uh, I'll probably never try anything else. Well, I mean, not that I won't try it. I'll try something else, but this stuff, now I can totally see the difference because you know how sometimes you get like makeup setting sprays and you're like, is this even working? Is this like a placebo effect? Like what's going on? But no, this is legit. The All Nighter, Oh my gosh, so good. Like, I was looking at my face, I was like, damn, the setting sprays do really work. Not that I never thought they did, but there really is a difference in setting sprays, and this one's good. Okay, so now something that's like non beauty is I ended up ordering these sandals on Amazon, and I have the Havana. Havana's, however you want to say it, sorry. I have the sandals right here. I have the thin one, and also the thick strap one, and then I also have the black thick strap one and these ones here if you guys can see it thin and then the thick these sandals are so freaking comfortable i was asking one of my friends like what sandals do you like because i need to wear sandals basically all day but i feel like some of them just make my feet feel tired or i'll get blisters those ones feel so comfortable. They were so cheap. It was only one pair was like $12.99. I got another on $15. I got it off Amazon. They're like made in Brazil. So I thought it was going to be expensive. And then when I looked it up, I was like, where have I been? Because I've seen these stores like for Havaianas or Havanas. Sorry if you guys are like laughing the way I'm saying it. But they are so comfortable. I wore them all day long. Like all day long. And I'm talking about long freaking days where my feet are already so tired from dance or standing up all damn day. And I'm just like, wow, like that is going to be my go-to like basic flip-flop. I plan on wearing them all the time and getting more colors because I've never found a sandal, like a slipper that's like can last me all day without my feet feeling tired. For my last favorite is this thing right here. And this is where I brought all my toiletries to Tahiti just because it was like more than two, it was like two weeks. So you need like a lot of stuff like as a chick you need so much stuff as it is so this one really was my favorite I got this off Amazon I think for I forgot what the price but I'll link it down below and I just needed something that was going to hold all my toiletries in one I didn't want to have several little bags and like searching all over for my stuff and digging through multiple bags uh just because I was rooming with other girls as well and I just figured okay I need something where all my crap is in one freaking compartment so I got this right here and I love it because it has like the little handle or whatever so whenever I would go shower like I just had this like ready and good to go and when you open it up what brand is this called it's called Melody Susie and they have other colors and what's great is that this hangs from the top so you can just have all your stuff but look how deep it goes it is like super super deep like mega deep this is like some of the stuff I brought on my trip I'm just gonna keep it in here because um yeah I'm just gonna keep it in here because this is my travel stuff but look, it can hold like my full size gliss, which I did bring on my trip, which helped my hair so much coming out of the ocean. 
holy crap, that ocean is like super salty and I felt like my hair was like so dry, but then I sprayed this in and I was like, yes. So like it holds all full size stuff. So it came in super just handy just to put in um, my shampoo bottle, my conditioner, just everything. There's like so much space in here and little, um, little compartments on the side right here and then on the back, my first aid kit, just like everything. Also compartments over here. There's like so many freaking pockets and I had like sheet masks in one. See, and it has like little folders. Um, just whatever you wanna put, a little slip right here. Also in the back and also there's like, it's like one of those like jackets that has like all those pockets in the front right here. So I loved how it hung. It had like the car compartments right here. If you guys ever need something for your toiletries and you have room for this, because I will say this isn't a small bag, but it's just super convenient just having everything in one without having to dig through so many multiple bags. I feel like that's what I'm always doing, like sticking so many things in different bags and then it's like a whole mess at the end. But this is all in one. So like whatever I need, lotion, shampoo, contact solution, contact, like everything is here. So I think it's worth it just for convenience factor if you have the room that's all i'm saying that's about it you guys that's it for my favorites i hope you guys enjoyed um back to normal schedule like i said i feel so good being freaking home i won't won't lie i cried almost every single day it's just really hard being away from home and not being able to talk to your loved ones and not having wi-fi and having no water uh, rigorous practices it's like a really good experience but really hard at the same time too mentally just because i don't know you're going through so many different emotions and all of that, but yeah, sorry if my voice was a little bit off or like it seemed like I was rushing certain sentences it's just because I was coughing in between in this video like a lot. So yeah, much, much less than yesterday though because there was no way I could film yesterday. But yeah, sorry if I felt like, if you felt like it was a little bit rushed, but back to normal schedule. I'm so happy. I'm so happy just to just get back on track with everything. Every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, your girl will be uploading. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go check out my last video I uploaded with Glenn. You guys are so sweet. I uploaded my summer night routine that's more like vlog style and very realistic. And then my How I Met Glenn uh, story. You guys are so sweet and you guys want more videos on that. So we have plenty to come, like our first date, our first kiss, like a certain embarrassing moment I left out. Like, yeah, you guys will just see it. I'll leave them link down below just in case you guys accidentally missed it or you want to peep that, or YouTube just didn't put on the notification. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I think that's about it. I'm going to go take some cough medicine, um, get going, and yeah, I love you guys. I'm so happy to be here, and I can't stop talking because I'm that excited, but okay, now I got to love you, pineapples. Mwah. Really? Like right at the end of the video? Let's do that again. Mwah. <laughs> Here we go, it's all about you, it's all about me, it's all about what we do. Making art, you and me, trying to find something to believe.